Hi, I'm Kate and this is Thor. We're here at Rocky Woods Farm. It is a really squishy day outside, meaning that the ground is saturated. We've had nothing but rain all week. So I figured it's a good time to bring the big guy in and get him nicely groomed, even though he's gonna go right back out in the mud, but still need to keep horses groomed. And so it is Thor's turn today. You can see that he's pretty dirty. He's pretty sweaty. We're in the process of doing some diagnosis on what might be going on with him because it's been pretty chilly this week, but he's been pretty sweaty. So we had the vet out yesterday to check him out. And we drew some blood work and we're gonna see how that comes back. Thor is an almost 20 year old Belgian, we believe quarter horse cross. We've had him for nearly five years now. You can see how much dirt just came off of him because he enjoys rolling around in the mud and then it dries and then it comes off when he shakes. So we're gonna do some grooming today. I already sprayed some conditioner on his mane and on his tail because they're both pretty in need of a good brushing and conditioning. So I did that. Now I'm gonna curry comb him, which is the first part of grooming. And with the curry comb, it just kind of loosens up a lot of the dirt that he just shook off. <laughs> we'll get the rest loosened up. It also helps with him being itchy. Gets all those good scratches in there. And then after we do the curry comb, we'll do the hard brush and the pick his feet and brush out his mane and his tail. So grooming Thor takes a little bit longer than other horses because he's a big guy. He's about 17 two hands. Um, so for people that are not super familiar with horses, he's around the size of a Clydesdale. Um, that's probably the closest comparison if you don't know what a Belgian is. So for the curry comb, don't curry his face because that's a sensitive area. You just apply a little pressure, work in circular motion. And you try and loosen up all the mud, and the sweat, and the dried sweat. And we're having a much like all of New England right now, we're having a mud problem in our paddock. Oh boy. <laughs> Is he making faces? So Thor and I have a colorful past. Um, when we got him, we were told he was well broke, so he means well trained. He's not, he's pretty green. Um, and if he doesn't want to do something, he literally throws his weight around. He has a lot of weight to throw around and we're he probably needed a more experienced home to go to, but we fell in love with him, so we tried to work through it. Um, he has thrown me off a couple of times, got real hurt one time, um, but it's only been the one time I've not been able to get back on the horse because I was hurt and it just physically couldn't. Um, and then as we're getting back into training and back into riding with him, I went out to feed one day and he's pretty uh, food aggressive with the other horses. And I fed him, he always eats first, fed him hay. As I was walking back past him, I was walking behind him. I put my hand on his butt like this, and which I've done a million times. And I know, again, like you always say, don't walk behind horses. It wasn't directly behind him, but anyways, my other horse had just been behind him and I think he thought I was him and I spooked him and he kicked and lacerated my liver. I spent three days in the hospital. The ER department did not know what to do with me because they have never had someone come in with quite an injury. <laughs> um, so that was interesting when I had to try and explain, you know, when someone thinks my horse kicked me, um, you know, they think like a little pony and I was like, no, his feet are the size of dinner plates. And um, so anyways, uh, after that, I actually couldn't ride for quite some time. And it's 
I've done a lot of groundwork with him. Thor and I are really good on the ground. Anyways, I had to explain about the size of his feet and like that was possible that that happened and spent some time in the hospital. Um, Thor and I have been working on a lot of ground stuff. So what that is, for those that don't know, is just literally putting lead on his harness, on his halter here. And um, you hear all those turkeys? Are they walking right by? Um, <laughs> so anyways, um, was getting back, been doing the groundwork. So that's walking with him on the ground, making him do backing up, going forward, stop when I ask him to stop. We've done a little bit of lunging, which is essentially running around in a circle or, or moving in a circle, not always running. Um, and I got back on him and rode for a short time for the first time this summer or this fall. And it was awesome and scary um, because he's hurt me pretty bad a couple of times, but I was really proud of myself and proud of him that we're able to work through that and, and be able to move on a little bit. Oh So now we're gonna do the hard brush. Right, good. Piece of mane, whatever, stay on this side. No matter what I do. So one of the things that we're testing for with him is for Cushing's disease is pretty common in older horses. I honestly need to do more research on it. I'm not familiar. None of my horses have ever had it before. But his very thick coat and the sweating are two signs. Um, he could have cushions. Um, treated with medication and just monitoring um, as far as I've read. So not the craziest thing in the world, but just another thing to manage. We'll make sure that he is good to go. Thor has a couple other things going on. He has enlarged thyroid. It's hard to see with his really thick coat, but his, his thyroids here <laughs> are very big, um, like softball size, which is not normal. He also has an arrhythmia in his heart. So that makes anything that we have to do with him a little bit more complicated. Um, and he also has a keratoma in his front right foot. You can see there's a small crack. That's about right where it is. He also had an abscess in his foot recently that made that crack um, a little bit more prominent. Uh, and the keratoma, what that is, is essentially a tumor in his foot. So, Thor also doesn't like you on trailers. So that makes any kind of emergency treatment a little more complicated. Sorry about that. We had to move them because the noises were freaking him out. So we moved him to a different set of cross ties. And you can see that we opened the doors behind us so he can kind of see outside what's going on. Cliffy's there. Um, so him being able to see what's making the noises is just easier for him and makes it a little safer for us. So anyways, um, a lot of draft horses need these things called stocks that it's like this big contraption that they go in and it allows them to kind of support their weight. I really don't know how to describe it, so you'll have to look them up, but it helps them when they're getting their feet done. <clears throat> Thor does not need stocks. He will stand and lift his feet. He just doesn't like to, especially the one with the keratoma. Um, but he will do it. And please don't mind the muddy feet. Come on, bud. Lift. Lift. Come on, bud. Lift. You gotta be careful not to get your foot underneath. He's just needing to shift his weight. Come on, bud. Lift. Lift. Good boy. So you can see how big his feet are. That's my hand. Um, and his feet are fairly 
clean because we have really wet mud right now, so nothing's really sticking to him. And we just had the farrier out this week. Get his feet trimmed. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a cookie, bud. Oh boy. So sometimes Thor and my other horses, when you first pick up their back feet, they like need to move it so it's comfortable for them. So I'm just always pretty patient with that. Easy. Now this is the foot that kicked me. So it's taken me a little bit to be pretty comfortable with cleaning this one out. So this is his foot with his keratoma in it. He really doesn't like this foot being done anything with. Come on, bud. Good boy. So you can see right here, that crack. Um, that's where the crack is going up his foot. Not ideal. Um, and it's a little bit weaker right now. So we've actually had him in a boot to help protect, to protect this foot. Um, but with the mud in it, I'm gonna leave it off for the night. And then we'll put it back on him tomorrow. One more, bud. Now put your head down. Head down. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. You brush out his mane. In the summer he gets, you can see this is really thick. And in the summer he gets hot. So I usually braid it. I'm not going to in the winter though. Brushing out his tail. His tail is beautiful when it's not muddy. And right now it's pretty muddy. But I always stand to the side of him, pull his tail to the side, 